PCR machine, put it on the bench top, and then transfer those hybridization reactions from the PCR plate to a fresh 96 well plate that has the washed shift avid encoder by Dedicate ready for capture. At the completion of the hybridization program, you transfer the plate from the PCR machine to the bench top, and then once the samples are on the bench top, you carefully remove the caps that have been sealing the wells. And then utilizing a multi-channel pipette, transfer the entire volume of the hybridization reaction from the plate over to the strip avid encoder that you've prepared in advance. And then you mix up and down by pipetting. Utilize a fresh cap. Tightly seal the wells. And then this plate will then go on to a 96 well plate mixer to incubate for 30 minutes at room temperature with vigorous shaking. Once the capture incubation period is completed, you remove the plate or strip tubes from the shaker, and in the case of the plate, you're going to want to simply flip the plate to remove any deposits of stripped avidin beads that may have found their way to the dome of the caps. If you're using strip tubes, you can place the strip tubes in something like a micro centrifuge and very briefly spin them. Now, you don't want to spin your strip tubes too long because that can actually compact the stripped avidin beads to a point where it makes it very difficult to resuspend them when it comes time to wash them. Once you've removed any residual stripped avidin beads from the tops of the caps, you can then transfer the plate onto a magnetic stand and allow the stripped avidin beads to bind to the magnet for the appropriate amount of time. After the beads have been bound to the magnet, you'll carefully remove the cap. Go in with the multi-channel pipette, remove the supernatants, and then once the supernatant is removed, you'll then add an aliquot of wash buffer one, which I've poured into this reservoir here. You can remove the plate from the magnet, and then briefly resuspend in wash buffer one by pipetting up and down. Once the beads are resuspended, grab a fresh strip tube dome cap, seal the wells, and then vigorously vortex the sample as described in the protocol. During the incubation time, it's important to prepare aliquots of wash buffer tube when you get to that point in the protocol. To do so, place your strip tubes into the thermocycler at the appropriate temperature to preheat for the wash two step. Once the vortexing is complete, flip the plate to remove any residual strip avidin beads that may have been deposited into the dome lids. And then you can transfer the plate onto the magnetic stands, allow the strip avidin beads to adhere to the magnet, remove the cap, and then using a multi-channel pipette, go in and remove the wash buffer one from the samples. This completes the first wash step. Once you've completed the steps required for the first wash, you can now move on to the second wash, which is going to utilize our preheated wash buffer two over here in our thermocycler. Now, the first wash with wash buffer one was done in a 96 well plate. However, when it's time to perform wash two, it's ideal to perform this washing step using a series of strip tubes rather than a 96 well plate. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take an aliquot of our pre-warmed wash two. We're going to resuspend it with our plate, with the samples that are in our plate. Once it's thoroughly resuspended, you will then transfer that sample over to the strip tubes. Seal the strip tubes with a fresh set of dome caps. Vigorously vortex the sample as described in the protocol. Place the samples into the thermocycler, close the lid, and allow them to incubate for the appropriate time described in the protocol. After the appropriate incubation time is completed, open the lid, remove the strip tubes. When working with strip tubes for wash buffer two, you can give them a brief spin on a desktop micro centrifuge, or you can simply just flip the tubes to ensure there's no strip avidin beads present in the domes of the lids. Transfer the strip tubes to your 96 well magnet, and then allow the strip avidin beads to adhere to the magnet before you go in with your multi-channel pipette and remove the supernate. Once the beads have adhered to the magnet, take your multi-channel pipette, carefully remove the supernate without distorting the beads. and then you're going to proceed to the second set of washes using wash buffer two again. So in summary, let me briefly recap the key points to keep in mind when performing the capture and wash steps with the QXT library prep target enrichment workflow. You're going to want to make sure that you're using domed cap tubes when you're working with your washes, whether it be in a 96 well plate or in strip tubes. This is going to ensure that you have ample space for the sample to be mixed when you're vortexing or pipetting your samples. If you follow these guidelines, you should have excellent on-target percentage depending on the capture that you're working with.
fire the visualization on the window. Approximately one to eight slides, you need about 250 milliliters of each uh, 1X buffer. So we first transfer 238 milliliters of water to uh, containers, and then add 12.5 milliliters of the 20X concentrated buffers. Starting with the wash buffer. And then we move on to the pretreatment buffer.
We're making a transfer one microliter of the probe into the hybridization buffer. The hybridization buffer probe mix should then be vortexed well for about five seconds, and then spun down in the microfuge to collect the contents in the bottom of the tube. The probe is now ready to be hybridized to the FFPE sample. To prepare the slide for hybridization, we first remove it from the wash buffer and place it into a dish of 70% ethanol. It will incubate in 70% ethanol for one to two minutes. We then transfer the slide to 85% ethanol for an additional one to two minutes. Finally, the slide is transferred to 100% ethanol solution for an additional one to two minutes. Following incubation in 100% ethanol solution, the slide should be dried completely prior to application of the probe. Once the slide has completely dried, apply 10 microliters of the probe hybridization buffer mix to the sample. Then apply the cover slip, ensuring that the hybridization buffer mix flows completely over the tissue. It may be necessary to slightly tap the cover slip to distribute the probe solution. We then want to seal the cover slip to the slide using the cover slip sealant supplied in the Dr. Mythology kit. Sealing the cover slip in this way prevents the probe from evaporating during the hybridization step. The prepared slide then goes on to the docile hybridizer, where the probe and sample are denatured at 80 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes, followed by hybridization at 45 degrees centigrade for 75 to 90 minutes. Following the completion of the hybridization, we're going to perform a stringency wash to remove the unbound probe. We're going to use the stringency buffer that's applied in the DACO uh, histology kit. We have some of the 1X buffer made and preheated to 65 degrees. This should be done prior to dismantling the hybridization for the washing step. We have a second jar of the stringency buffer at room temperature. We're going to remove the slide from the hybridizer, and then using forceps, remove the rubber cement that's holding the cover slip onto the slide. We're going to gently remove the cover slip and put the slide into the room temperature stringency buffer. The slide then can be transferred into the preheated stringency buffer at 65 degrees. The slide should be incubated at 65 degrees for 10 minutes to allow the unbound probe to wash away from the slide surface. Following 10 minute incubation at 65 degrees C, we're going to transfer the slide into the 1X wash buffer at room temperature. It should be incubated in there for 3 minutes to remove the salts from the stringent wash buffer. Following the 3 minutes in the wash, in the wash buffer, we're going to transfer it to a second jar, also containing the wash buffer, for an additional 3 minute incubation. The slide should then be dehydrated through a series of ethanol washes. First, for 1 to 2 minutes, at 70% ethanol. 